Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Taurus. So we have busy bees, so you guys are going to be really busy. All right, Spirit says like you're going to be very occupied. It says expect to be busy. It might be might get difficult to balance your personal life and work, but if you cut out distractions and any unnecessary drama, you'll handle it like a queen or a king. All right, so you guys are going to be pretty busy. If you guys have been feeling bored or like kind of like stagnant or like you haven't been haven't been being very productive, like that's going to be changing. We have uncertainty. So it says, hmm, people may be playing mind games with you or leaving out information on purpose, which could lead to confusion and frustration. Be smart and decide if it's worth playing back. So you guys have somebody here. I feel like you guys are going to be busy and not focused on somebody. It's like you're no longer playing games with somebody no more, okay? Like, and I feel like it's like you don't have time. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to be focused on other things. You're going to be keeping yourself occupied with other things. You know what I mean? So whatever games this person was playing with you, you don't have the time for it anymore. You're, you're not focused on that anymore. That's why they're telling you to cut out distractions. This person playing games with you and not being honest with you and playing these mind games, yeah, and causing confusion is like been causing you to not be as productive as you could be. All right, or that's what's going to happen. So this is warning you. So it says decide if it's worth playing back. So we have abundance. Yeah, so you guys have your manifestations are coming in. It says your manifestations are about to start paying off abundantly. You are long overdue for some great financial rewards and you are finally being rewarded. So yeah, again, that's why they're warning you of whoever this person is that keeps playing games with you because you guys have a lot of good things coming in. Don't let this person come in and ruin that for you. We have the Empress. Yeah, we have also, you know, Empress, Emperor. That you're transforming into the Empress or the Emperor. You will feel more confident, looking better, and realizing your own worth and standing up for what you deserve. No more settling for less. So this is somebody, this, whoever this person was that was playing games with you, they were um, not treating you, they weren't valuing, valuing you, okay? Or they, they're not, they haven't been giving you what you deserve. Like, you guys could have felt like you were settling in the situation. Or Spirit is saying, even if you don't recognize it as that, you were settling. You could have done a lot better. All right? But it's like, now you guys are recognizing that. And you're no longer settling for someone that's playing games with you. Tell me more. We have health. So we have, expect to have a boost in your energy levels or an increase of healthy activities that will greatly improve your overall health as well as help you maintain a positive mindset. So I see good health for you guys. It could also like some of you guys are gonna start working out, eating better, dieting, making some healthy lifestyle changes. So we have memories. See, be careful with this person too, guys, because they may try to come in and play on, you know, pull on your heartstrings, or they may try to make you take you down, try to take you back down memory lane. This is somebody you definitely have history with. You may even have some good memories with this person, but I feel like they may try to use that to their advantage. But it says you may be feeling a bit nostalgic and likely triggered. But know that while you can't go back in time and change the past, you can always change the way that you think about it. So there's some things that happen with this person that keeps playing games with you that is triggering. All right? Like, there's some things that when you think about it, there's maybe some good memories that make you happy. And then there's some other things that make you, like, that trigger you. Um... See what this person, I don't know. It's like every time this person comes back around, they, they trigger you. Okay, more. Okay, we have two that fell on the floor. Give me a second. So we have soulmate. Mm. A soulmate connect, connection is making its way to you. Keep your heart open and don't fear letting love in. Know that you are being like divinely guided to be in each other's lives. And we have support. Someone will enter your life to offer their support and stimulate your personal growth. Their act of kindness will help you see and believe in the magic within you. So you guys could have somebody, I don't know if this is the same person yet. Oh, well, the past on the back of the deck. Yep, I'm telling you, this is what you have history with. They're coming back. It says a situation where someone from the past will return either to finish unfinished business or give you closure. You will have to decide if it's worth revisiting or leaving it in the past. So like I said, you do have history with this person. All right, and I do feel like you have good and bad memories with them. And every time they come back, it kind of takes you back down memory lane or it like kind of triggers you. It kind of sets like... I don't know. I feel like you guys may have somebody else coming in. So the past is definitely returning here. But what's the, so this reading is about the good things coming in. So what is, how is the past returning have to do with good things that's coming in for my collective? The past is returning. We have Rick. Oh, the spotlight is on you. Not only will you accomplish your goals and come out on top, but others will also recognize your success. You fought a good fight. So is this, okay, again, why is this positive? Or what's the good things in, re in regards to this? We have challenge. 
be proud of all that you've lived through and always find the good and the bad. You have the power to rise up to the challenge and build your your own doors for it. So what's happening here, guys, if you want it, you're about to have progress in a situation. Because instead of chasing this person and settling, you guys started like pulling your energy back and focusing on you and knowing your worth. And it's like, this was really hard. This was hard for you to do this. This was a challenge. But it says you've built your own doors for opportunity to knock on. So it's like this person is about to have to come in and offer you something. If you want it. For who, this is obviously coming through because somebody has wanted to have this opportunity that's coming in, in for this person. Progress in a situation. See, there's been... You will encounter competition that will force you to stay ahead of the game. Remember, they are not your enemies. Let it make you stronger and transform envy, envy into healthy motivation. So there's going to be some, some people that are jealous or that are trying to work against a partnership here. A new partnership is making its way into your life who will see your true potential and help you reach it. See, there's somebody that's coming in that's going to support you, who's going to see your worth, who's going to invest in you. Yeah, see your potential and help you reach it. This could turn into a very beneficial partnership and possibly even romantic. But this is that past person, guys. I'm telling you. Oh, for goodness, you're finally getting over something or someone. You guys may be about to leave somebody alone, like for good, but there, there's someone's gonna be jealous. But tell me more about what the what's the the outcome of this situation with this past person. New, see, uh, this is confusing. We have new birth and ending. So things could be coming to an end with yeah, something will come to something will come to an end that must take place before you can free yourself to move forward, let go of what was, celebrate the good and forgive the bad. It's all part of the journey. You're about to give birth to something new, your own business, a side hustle, a new approach to something, or perhaps a birth of a new baby. Whatever it is, enjoy your creation. So discovery. You will discover the the I don't know, guys. I'm trying to see. Swiftness, events will be moving. Yeah, things are about to speed up here for you. Secrecy. Yeah, there's a situation or person that's not what it appears to be. But you will slowly start to uncover things that have been kept secret. Pay close attention to your surroundings. Yeah, something was kept hidden. It's uncertainty. Events will be moving at a fast pace and you may find yourself juggling multiple responsibilities. Again, going back to you being busy. Be flexible as events, activities, and other unexpected things arise. Flow. You guys kind of just let this person go. Like, you guys just started going with the flow. Yeah, they're telling you to be careful about repeating a cycle with somebody. But they're telling you, you've let go of your expectations and attachments to the idea of what you thought would make you happy. And learning to get out of your own way, own way by embracing the flow of life. This is one of those situations where, like, you guys are really wanting something to work out with somebody. But they just weren't that person. Or they just weren't ready. Or it just wasn't the right time. Or you weren't ready. Or the circumstances weren't right. Um, and now you guys are getting more and, and that's why there's probably a repeating cycle that kept happening. But now you guys are going more into this flow energy. Yeah, we have romance here. Love is yours to take. The person on your mind is going to make a romantic gesture and hopes to rekindle the love in your connection. And we have good luck after that. Yeah, things have been stagnant between you and somebody like not moving forward, not progressing. But what is ending here? Because I feel like, I don't know, before I say what I'm going to say, I'm going to pull another card. What does ending mean for this? Whatever this connection is. Soul tribe. If you've been feeling isolated or with few connections and oh, you know what's happening here, guys? Somebody need this. This is not really even specific to just this connection. Yeah, learning. You are being led down the path of unlearning and relearning to make smarter decisions as you navigate uncharted ground ahead. Trade knowing through curiosity. There were some people around you and some people around this person that couldn't be be brought into this relationship or this union or this partnership does that make sense what i'm saying so one of the big things that was keeping this connection from being able to progress was that the, the people that you guys had around each other like who you were associating with and who they were associating with so it's like some of you guys may even feel like you kind of like your circle has gotten very small like the people that you were friends with, like you guys feel like you guys even feel like you've cut off a lot of people recently, or just in the recent months or whatever. You may feel like a lot of people that you were associated with and dealing with, you guys are no longer speaking to those people, or you've cut them off, or you've distanced yourself from them. And they could also be doing the same thing. But for this new beginning to happen, there were some people that you needed to cut off here 
to, so that you can get better and to, to get in alignment with your your soul tribe. Signs. It says your guides are trying to communicate with you. They are sending you signs and synchronicities. It can be through dreams or numbers, music or number sequences. Pay attention. We have action. So, yeah, somebody's about to take action towards you. Yeah, clarity. The truth is about to be revealed to you. So there's something like that. Whatever you think about this, whoever this person is, is not the truth. And the truth is about to be revealed because somebody's taking action towards you. Somebody's getting out of their head here. Or like I said, if things have been stagnant or not moving forward, that's going to be changing. Somebody's realizing that they have to take some type of action. The truth is about to be revealed to you, which will allow you to feel more at ease with the past events that remain unanswered until now. And suddenly it would all make sense. So that all that uncertainty and all that confusion, you're going to be getting clarity about that, which is good news. Like if that, that's obviously for whoever's reading this is, that's when something that's been like kind of keeping you stuck is like not knowing what the truth about something or not knowing like the, what was really going on in a situation. But it says no more overthinking or breaking the cycle of inaction and finally getting something done. You will set your plan in motion and realize action is the only way to move forward in life. Yeah. So somebody's about to take a leap of faith with the, the help of angels or the divine here. Deep down, you'll know the key to creating life of your dreams is on the other side of fear. It won't be easy to take a leap of faith into the unknown. But this could also be you guys taking a leap of faith into the unknown. But just remember the universe will catch you. Hold on, guys. <coughs> My allergies are so bad to this morning. Anyways, your angels are relieving you of your burdens. You'll notice you'll begin to feel lighter. Your worries and fears fading away. And you're embracing in your own inner breakthrough. So, yeah, and it's leading to a breakthrough. See, mm, see this is looking like reconciliation energy. Because you and this person have a purpose. There will be an urgent invitation to live your soul's journey, receiving guiding messages to keep you on purpose and, the, and answer the calling so that you can live con and contribute soulfully. I'm telling you, this has been coming too. Yeah, your love life is about to take off. A new romantic offer, even several offers are coming your way. Don't let the past... See, I don't understand. Yeah, an old lo the love angels will come back wanting to reconcile and rebuild. It may be worth hearing what they have to say, but it's up to you if you want to give them a second chance. You will have a choice. You will have, so some of you guys are like, I'm sick of the past person. Well, you will have the past, the past person is coming back. I'm not going to lie to you. Past person is coming back, but you guys will also have opportunities for new love to come in. That's why there, we had intuition here. It says your intuition is your superpower. You are harnessing your psychic abilities and learning to trust that inner voice to guide the decisions you make. But it says break down your walls. You're losing touch with the world and not giving yourself a chance to connect with other people. Learn to open up to others and accept those who are different, including you. So, Spirit says when it comes to making a decision between this past person and, and opening up to new love, they're telling you to listen to your intuition. Give me one more card about what they need to know about this past person when it comes to them making a decision or choosing them. What do they need to know about that person? See? So, they're telling you <laughs> secrecy. Yeah, there's a, again, this already showed itself to me. There's a situation where a person that's not what it appears to be. But you will slowly start to uncover things that have been kept secret. Pay close attention to your surroundings. And then we have acceptance. So you're, again, like I said, you're kind of accepting that this person is, like, not who you want them to be right now. Or, like, yeah, it says you're accepting situations and people for what they are. Learning to let go of things that can no longer be fixed. And choosing to change to challenge yourself to grow. So I feel like a lot of you guys are choosing to let this person go. Because they're still coming to, what is the secret? What is secrecy? Transition. So you're undergoing a significant life change. You're entering into a time of transition. Growth will only be possible by, by suspending your desire to fill the uncomfortable void that you feel. Swiftness. Someone's about to go through like a very swift change here. What is the secrecy though about this person? Marriage. What? Oh, was somebody hiding up? Wait, what's marriage mean for my collective? Part what? So what is this about secret? Wait, what did that card say again? Did what it happen to it? Did I put it back in the deck? Damn it! All right, um, I'm gonna have to find that card. But so, what is secrecy about this? Okay, intuition and what? Teach. Inner child. There's, it's, it's kind of confusing, guys. Yeah, you'll, you'll reach some kind of completion. 
or you're very close, leaving you feeling accomplished and happy. A new chapter will emerge and you'll once again start the next challenge. Huh. Is... Yeah, a miracle is coming your way and it's just around the corner, so don't lose hope. Trust that all is unfolding beautifully in life without delays. See, rest. Yeah, you're disconnecting yourself from the world and giving yourself the space to rest and grow in your awareness, awareness of what's real and what's meaningful to you. There's secrecy, yeah. There's a per situation or person that's not what it appears to be, but you will slowly start to uncover things that have been kept secret. Huh. So... I feel like spirit is trying to get, like, they're wanting you to go with the flow. And they're wanting you to get into this energy of, like, just trusting. You know what I mean? Just having complete faith in them and then the universe. Because they're manifesting a miracle for you. But this is, like, one of those situations where you're going to have to take a leap of faith and let, let something go. to actually. And it, but it's actually going to lead to the outcome that you wanted in a situation. But it's something about you guys needing to recognize that there's some type of toxic repeating pattern, um, a cycle between you and a person, and doing what you need to do on your part to not repeat that cycle. Because if you keep repeating the cycle, you're going to stay stuck. So there's a need for you to, to, to recognize what is the cause of the repeating cycle and stop doing that on your part. I mean, you can't control this person, but you can choose to not engage in this person's cycles and games and it's like the secrecy this person is trying to get their life together for you i don't know why they're not telling you this <laughs> I, I really don't guys i don't know why they're trying to keep this a secret from you i'm going to get more clarity right now in the tarot but it's almost like this person it's like spirit's not revealing everything to you about this situation it's spirit saying it's not what it seems you may feel like, you know, some of you guys may get out there and start exploring other options and dating other people. And that's spirit, spirit is saying that that's maybe where you need to be right now. Like is, you know, exploring and focusing on yourself. And, you know, some of you guys are just going to be busy with other things, like not even so much dating other people, but just like busy with work and responsibilities and traveling for some of you. Because I did see travel like you're going to be busy, preoccupied, but there's almost like a need for you to shift your focus away from this person right now and definitely not repeat a cycle with them but like what you guys don't know is that that's actually leading to some type of change or transition in a situation that's what's going to change this situation and it's actually going to lead to some type of rapid growth within this person it's like it's probably because, I don't know, we're going to see. There, it's like you guys shifting your focus away from this person is going to cause rapid growth within a situation and within this person. Tell me more. So we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have Temperance in reverse. Sagittarius energy. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the tower. Scorpio energy. Clarify the knight of swords in reverse. The devil. Oof. So there's this person. It could be an air sign for some of you. This person is really egotistical. They're very impulsive. Um... I don't feel like they're very ambitious either. Like, I feel like they're very, like, unfold. Like, they don't even know what they're, why they're, like, they're just impulsive. I feel like this person is going to try to keep you in this cycle with them. It's like, they're almost going to try to force you. Like, I'm not, like, they're not going to hold, you know, they're not force, but you guys know what I mean. Like, I feel like they're going to try to keep you. They're going to do something impulsive that's going to try to keep you attached to them. Like, this person literally tries to keep you stuck in this with them. But I feel like you guys, the good news, you know, the good things that I'm seeing here is that you guys are recognizing this now. Yeah, you guys are recognizing this now. But they definitely have been trying to keep you in this toxic cycle or whatever this is. This toxic attachment keep you low vibrational with them or just uh, stuck with them. I don't know. 
Tell me about Temperance Reverse, the Hermit. Somebody needs to heal, guys. I don't know, if, like you guys, you guys may need to take some more time to heal yourselves. Somebody needs to heal because they're very out of balance. I also feel like somebody may feel like they're losing control over you. Like they've been trying to keep some type of like attachment going between the two of you. And I feel like they've been doing this very intentionally. And I feel like they not really have, they've been trying to act like that's not the case, but they are very intentional guys. So like they know exactly what they're doing. I don't know why they're just trying to keep you stuck in the toxicity and like not actually, cause I told you things have not been moving forward with you and this person. It's just been like this toxic repeating cycle between you and this person. And they're doing this very intentionally. But I do feel like this person feels like they're losing control over you. I do feel like they feel like you're withdrawing from this. Like you're no longer, you're choosing, you, you're literally choosing to be alone versus trying to be in this cycle with them at this point. You're seeing something now. Yeah, and every time this person comes back into your life, they always disrupt. They bring chaos. They bring imbalance. It's because they need to take time to heal. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Yeah. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So it's like nothing has changed. Yeah, stuck in old karmic cycles. This person is just like... Yeah, resistance to change. Clean to control. I'm telling you, this person feels like you're abandoning them. And they're like going to do anything that they can here to try to keep you stuck. Tell me about the tower though. The Three of Cups in reverse. I think your independence is going to be the tower for this person. Um, you, you, especially if this person was trying to keep you in a third party situation. Or whatever that, yeah, eight of cups on the back of the deck. Somebody is not afraid to walk away from something anymore. You guys could be walking away from a fire sign. It could be an Aries for some of you. Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy manifesting or they're maybe having they're walking away from something here what is this tower the tower in the three of cups reverse the eight of wands the nine of wands something is very close to coming to an end here fast communication movement something is moving forward spirit says keep pushing on like keep pushing forward keep being resilient you're close to some type of like completion or a success like they know that it's been a heavy journey it's been heavy and burdensome but it's very close why is the three of cups are inverse though this person's gonna try to force you into something here yeah they're, they're trying to hold on oh what does this have to do with my collective the four of pentacles the five of swords i'm telling you Why is this person coming towards you aggressively? Like, what is this? Stress, disagreements. They're going to try to start a fight with you. Tell me more about this. Pause. Spirit says when this person comes towards you in this aggressive ass energy, don't react right away or at all. Yeah, pause, surrender, letting go, waiting. Yeah. You're going to hold back from this person. It's like, they're going to be like, oh shit, like, the collective has finally breaking, broken free from this. Like, somebody's going to start feeling like you're a missed opportunity, and then what? Lack of movement. I don't know, guys. What's up with my collective? Libra energy here. Just be careful. This person is just, they, they will, they're trying to win at all costs. Like this person will do anything to try to keep you from moving on. Even if they, they can read, that's why that secrecy that they'll even resort to lying, scheming, manipulation, telling half truths, telling completely whole false truths. Like this person, why is this person trying to keep this so stuck? They don't want this to end, but they're also not trying to progress it right now. I see them coming in and making a lot of empty promises. Why are they not trying to progress this right now, spirit? The star? What about the star? They're, they need to heal. I don't know how else to put it, guys. They need to heal because the reason why this person's not trying to progress this right now, they kind of want you to do all the work. And it's because this person is super insecure. They're codependent. Tell me more. Why is this not? Oh, why is the king of... We have the king of cups and the queen of cups are reversed. What about the King of Cups? The Four of Swords. The Six of Wands. 
What is the um Queen of Cups in reverse though? Release the fear to what? See things as they are. Yeah, you gotta accept something for what it is. Yeah, it's like once you guys start accepting something for what it is, that it's one-sided or that somebody's using you, things are very out of balance. It's it's over for this. I don't know. Like it's like you're you're starting to see that this person is abusing your is abusing your kindness. They're taking advantage. You guys see this now. You you view you view this person as selfish. They're they're power hungry. Yeah, it's like so you guys are kind of in this energy of like you feel like you've given too much to this person. See, something is like so you're like pulling back your energy. And then all of a sudden, it's like, and then what? Now, boom. Now they want to be together. Yeah, it's like, mm, why is the Ace of Cups reversed, though? Two of Cups, Ace of Cups reverse. The Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Cups reversed, though? The Lovers in reverse. I don't know. It's almost like they're going to start wanting this at some point. Trying to make amends. Trying to bring this in together. Trying to have a new emotional beginning. And you're going to be like, I don't know. So it's almost like, you guys, the tables are turning. That's the good news, guys. It's like the the, ro the roles are reversing or however I'm, whatever I'm trying to say right now. A situation where you guys maybe felt like you could never let somebody go and you feel like they had some type of power over you and you were having a hard time gaining back control. That's over. That time, that era of that things being like that is over. There's about to come a time whether you want this person back or not because as we saw earlier you have new options coming in you have new people coming in it's fair to say that it is perfectly okay for you to focus your energy on you know pursuing new and on yourself and on on, on on other ventures all right but what i'm saying here is that there is somebody and this is probably something you guys wanted at some point you will you, something you because didn't we have that you're manifested i don't remember what that card said but it says your manifestations are coming in you, this is something you guys manifested and you guys, it's like, it's going to be what you want it to be. But the problem is, is that when it comes in, you're going to be like, I don't know if I even want this person anymore. And that's feel like that's where like you guys wanted to end up getting at some point. You guys were like, oh, I just wish I could let this person go. And I just wish that I didn't, they didn't have this power over me. And I just wish that, you know, like I could just move on from them and they weren't this important to me anymore. And it's like, it's going to happen. But when that happens, this person is going to want this they're going to want everything with you and they're going to start feeling very rejected by you and like heartbroken and that's probably a part of their karma but if you want this person there will come a time where you and this person that they will give you what it is that you always wanted from them if you want it that's why spirit says you will have options you will have a choice listen to your intuition about which direction you want to go down you can choose to be with this person or you can choose new options it's completely up to you but I definitely see here um, that it's like once you get to that point where you're like, you know what, you start seeing this person, see, you see their game. It's like you, you, you caught on to this person. That's probably what I'm going to name this reading or I'm going to say like you have options, you caught on to them. And it's like this game that they've been playing, it's over for them. And I don't think that they were quite ready for this. But it's like once this person realizes you're no longer playing with them and that you're moving on, you really moving on from them, they're going to quickly get their shit together. Because it was never in this person's plan or intentions to lose you. I know that's maybe surprising to you guys, but it wasn't. All right. All right. 